Once again, I'm out there making it another great day, and I got my cousin Greg with me hanging out here. We're in Tarpon Springs. We're at the Seafood Festival of 2018, and this is a very large, very large festival. I've been down here for the Greek Festival. I've been down here for sponges, and I'm down here for seafood. I see people, and I see a lot of seafood. And uh, we're going to go check out this enormous event going on this weekend. I've almost lost my voice. And um, that's coming at you right now. We are right here in the heart of the Seafood Festival and we have came upon this amazing sight for eyes to behold here. There's all this food down through here. It's absolutely crazy and I have to show this. We're probably going to get some food here at this place for sure because this is looking pretty darn good and they just got piles and piles of it and there's bowls and bowls and it just keeps going right on down down through here unbelievable amount of people here at the seafood festival here in tarpon springs we've been here before at the greek festival but this here is the big blowout i think i am just absolutely blown away me and my cousin greg are absolutely blown away by all this seafood here i never thought there would be this much seafood here at this festival i've been disappointed at other festivals like the pie festival but I am not disappointed at this seafood festival here in Tarpon Springs. Here's even another stand called Hammerheads. Uh, they have seafood platters. They got jambalaya and crab cakes and garlic shrimp and they are cooking it up here and boy this stuff smells absolutely fabulous. We're gonna, they're making us hungry. We are definitely going to get us a platter. I have came across a pickle place and they have homemade pickles here in the buckets. They got the kosher, they got the sweet, they got horseradish, they got the heat, and they got jalapeno, and uh, pickles, pickles, and more pickles. I know my friend Hope, she loves pickles. I am about halfway down here at Tarpon Springs, and I have not seen this many booths at a festival for a long time. They have Twisted Willies here, giant hand-rolled soft pretzels. Those are looking pretty good, and they also got Chili Willies, frozen lemonade. Those are looking pretty darn fabulous as well. The Chili Willies there. They got a big old sign out here. It says don't forget dessert. And uh, I definitely don't want to forget dessert. I don't want to forget any kind of food. I have came across a vendor here making some very unique light up bottles, uh, recycled bottles. And it's a lot of sports teams, but they will do anything you want on these bottles and the company's called Light My Firefly. Check out Light My Firefly right there on the screen on the website and the link is also going to be in the, the uh, description and uh, this is a local artist by the name of Gail Welch. I can customize any bottle that you want. I can make fun bottles, I make sports bottles, I can do weddings, I can do logos for um, businesses, I can put your dogs, your cats, your kids. Star Wars, anything on a bottle. How did you come up with this idea? Uh, I'm a starving artist. <laughs> That's my degree. I got an art degree and I just ended up having fun with this one time for friends and it grew into a big business. I get a lot of orders and custom orders. I was just doing a wedding order with a lady right there before you came in. So yeah, it's just kind of grown and I love it. I create on a bottle. Without the genie. Right. <laughs> or anything in it. <laughs> I have discovered some very unique lobsters here as wall decor and a crab. Those are pretty neat. We have came across a very cool artist here that's doing airbrush with car paint and we're going to go talk to him. This is some pretty incredible stuff. He's from Cocoa Beach. 
Well, I started airbrushing back when I was about in my early 20s, back when it was common to put murals on vans. So I did a lot of that back in the early 70s and kind of got married and had kids and got out of that, needed a job with uh, insurance and stuff like that for several years. So kind of got back into it, painting motorcycles about 15 years ago um, after the kids grew up. And I, uh, so it was kind of a hobby. I was working a regular job and then I just kind of quit the job and started doing this. And, uh, all of the, well everything's airbrushed. I used automotive paints. So I carried on what I was doing on motorcycles to the these pictures and I, because I got used to working with these colors and the translucent candies and pearls and that kind of adds a vibrancy to them that most people don't have. So I stuck with that and I do multiple types of live edge wood, uh, frame pictures on uh, wood veneers of different species. Uh, the framing are all handmade by me. Uh, most of them are hardwoods. And the fish mounts are, well back to the, all the wood pictures are finished with an epoxy resin as well. The fish mounts are all on fiberglass and again I use automotive paints. Uh, and if you compare my fish mounts to a lot of the regular uh, taxidermists and uh, people that do the fish mounts these days, I, I feel I've got an edge on them by all the vibrant colors and candies and transparency things that I build layers on. And also out here at this seafood festival, they have a butterfly garden where you can walk through uh, a butterfly encounter with live butterflies. We are inside the butterfly garden here and they're going to feed some butterflies. Get some people in here feeding the butterflies. The and they stick the stick on there. For butterfly. And they're feeding the butterflies. All kinds of butterflies in here. They're just, I've never seen so many. There's a bunch of butterflies. Look at all them butterflies. Can you see those butterflies? There's a ton of butterflies in this. All kinds of butterflies. You got to shake the table and then they're flying everywhere. We're being attacked by butterflies here. This is cool. Butterflies everywhere in this this butterfly encounter. I wish this you could smell this. This is smelling so good. Here's a big seafood market, and there's so many people here. There's thousands of people at this festival here in Tarpon Springs, and this food. Oh, it looks so good. Look at that right there on that plate. That is, that looks so good. They have some fabulous crab cakes here, but I'm gonna get this coconut shrimp, this big, gigantic piece of coconut shrimp. That's gonna look really good. They even have a gigantic salad here. This is, I don't think I could eat all that salad. That is a lot of salad. Look at all that food down there. Look at all that seafood in those big pots. This is gonna be good. I'm gonna get that Hold on a coconut shrimp there is what I'm gonna get. Greg, he got the fresh crab cakes and rice. And that's looking pretty good over there. Oh, it pretty is good. good. It's really good. And we also got us some fresh lemonade, freshly made, and boy is it good. The thing that I got that I wanted that caught my eye was this gigantic coconut shrimp on a stick. And look at that. That's some, that's some shrimp and I uh, got some rice with it. And uh, the food here looks so fabulous. There was so many people getting the food. Unbelievable. And I can't wait to bite into this. Well, I tell you, I just took several bites out of this coconut shrimp on a stick. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've had shrimp this good and this tasty and this seasoned. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. We're having a great time here at the Seafood Festival at Tarpon Springs. There's a big stand here for award-winning crab cakes and they have, ooh, I see an alligator sandwich here too. There's so much seafood here to see and eat and a lot of people to see. We are full. We are headed on out. This festival is so big. They have all these tour buses down here. This is just one. I've seen about 10 of them and yep, they have come. This could possibly be Sophia from the Golden Girls group from the Shady Pines Rust Home out of Miami. Could it be? Possibly. They are escorting the people from the Shady Pines Rust Home into this boat. They're going to do some 
dolphin sightseeing possibly here at Tarpon Springs during the seafood festival. Well, I am absolutely full. Greg, are you full? Oh gosh, yes. We're down here. I think I need a sponge for my face to clean up from all that seafood. I am absolutely full. Those were some excellent coconut shrimp on a stick and the rice was absolutely flavorful. The crab cakes are to die for. And take his word for it, I didn't try those. And I, I love the lemon shake-ups, the lemonades were really, really good. And uh, we're full, we're gonna get out of here. And we had a great time and talked to some artists here and uh, check them out in the link in the description. Appreciate all you subscribers out there. Keep hitting the subscribe button. Keep going out there, making it a great day because you deserve it.